Hey what's up guys it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel today I am back with a new movie the name of this movie is what if Naruto became a legendary weapon master and yeah guys it is an unscripted movie now before continuing this I know I know I have a lot of explaining to do just popping out of nowhere after a lot of you know hiatus well the thing is that most of you guys know i was moving into the new house well i was excited and most of the stuff was done after i posted in the community tab in the a few days ago or a week ago i guess at this point now the thing is that i forgot about the most important thing that i should have done even before moving in here and that was to you know relocate the internet connection from my previous place to the next place since my you know internet provider offers this service i should have done that but i forgot about that you know in the hu hustle of moving just to the new house because there was a lot of you know things going on and we just rushed this whole process and since this happened yeah after moving in we faced this issue that the company told me that they had a schedule plan of 10 days process of well, moving the connection from one place to another. I was kind of baffled because turns out they had to send out a few teams to inspect and then there was a whole process of the wire going underground and stuff. I'm not going get to get into the details. So long story short, yeah, a lot of things need to be done. And in the end, everything was okay and it went well. And now I have internet connection. Yay. And that is why I'm uploading this story. Anyways... It might take me some time to, you know, settle in once since because of my hiatus and, you know, since I make a lot of unscripted stories. But I think there is time for a little bit of change. I am thinking of, you know, working on both of my channels, Made of What Ifs, and this one regularly now for reels. And since I have nothing more else to do now since the main project, which was to build our home since the beginning of this year is finished, I'm going to be focusing and returning to being regular on both of the channels. I promised you that much and I'm gonna be trying my best to make as many ideas as you guys throws at me on both of the channels. I promise you that much. No matter what it is, how ridiculous it is, even yours idea Spidey, no matter how many harem ships it is, I promise you that much. Anyways, I'm thinking of, you know, making Meta What If channels into a series oriented channel where I might make Naruto series and then Apollo Chia will be same as stories, short movies and movies as we have been going on about for a few years now. Do let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this and make sure you leave a like and subscribe to both of my channels as well. Since the intro is getting long enough already, let's just begin with the video and without any further ado, let's begin with our today's movie. Our story begins in Konoha Gakure Nusato after the QB attack as we go towards the Hokage office where we see the whole council was gather, but the only man their Hokage was missing. As the door opened, as an old man with the Hokage hat and the child that was crying in his arm entered. As soon as he did, an Anbu arrived down, down in front of him and picked the child from him. I will watch over him, Hokage-sama. Do so, please. As after giving the child to the trusted Anbu, we see that Hiruzen Sarutobi, the old man said in question, wore the Hokage hat and sat down in the position of the Hokage as this indication was more than enough for anyone within that room to know what has transpired tonight, as there was a moment of silence without anyone saying anything. And then, one man stood up, as soon as the words were said that this meeting was in session by Hiruzen. It was Donzo Shimura. Yes, what is your question, Donzo? I would like to know, was that child, the child of Minato and Kushina, that you brought in? As Hiruzen's eyes widened and then narrowed, what if, if the child is, what is it to you, Donzo? Then that narrows down my quest to find who the Jinshuriki would have been. I'm sorry, what? I, I don't understand, Donzo. As the others begin to murmur, silence, yelled out Hiruzen. As Donzo continued, Minato, knowing he, thus man was selfless as he is, and Kushina as well, he would have made his own son the Jinshuriki, and knowing that only an Uzumaki since the past have been able to withhold the Biji within, it must be their child. <sighs> Sighed Hiruzen, as he then said, of course he is. Now, 
Can we move on after this since the question has been answered by you yourself, Donzo? No. Actually, there's one more thing that I would like to ask. What are you going to do with the Jinchuriki? I'm sorry, what? Said Hiruzen, as if he was baffled by the question. He's a child. He was born tonight. What do you expect me to do with him? Of course, he will be put in orphanage because of the unfortunate circumstances that his parents have perished. Donzo, what do you want me to do with him? As much as I hate to say this, he is a Jinchuriki. And you... Making him look like a normal child is impossible, no matter how hard you try. I mean, the kid has a huge responsibility on his shoulders. Not only is he holding Babiju back within, he needs to learn and master its power. Because we can't just sit around and wait for the other villages to attack us. Tonight's attack, it was on you. It was on all of us. It was on Minato as well. As he risen stood up. What? Do you intend to say, Donzo? Be very careful of what you say, because I am on the verge of my patience. After what has happened tonight, this is how you want to continue the conversation? Instead of being solemn, commemorating to those who have perished, we are here bickering about the future. And I stand firm on my point as well as what you have said, Hirzen. We should be solemn, but we need to fear. Fear that something like this can happen in the future as well. There is no Minazu Namikaze left. And there is certainly no longer an Uzumaki except for that child who is now the Jinchuriki. We need to make sure that the child grow perfectly and that is why I suggest that a child placed under my training and my wing so that I can properly train him to be the Jinchuriki that he needs to be. So that in the future if anyone threatens Konoha we are protected. As the people begin to murmur again, as Hiruzen noticed that Donzo was smirking as he stood up. But you are also forgetting that he is the son of Minato no Mikaze, the fourth Hokage. And not only that, he is also a clan head. The Uzumaki clan. As everyone begin to murmur again as well, a clan head cannot be passed down to anyone. Donzo would hold the power to the Uzumaki clan. And... Him being the son of the Hokage as well, Tanzo would hold a lot of influence. As the people begin to see that Tanzo was gunning for something else entirely, as Tanzo gritted his teeth, well played here, Rizin, he thought to himself, as that is when he fired back with a question of his own, then what is your solution to this, Hiruzen? We can't just let the kid rest. I mean, everyone agrees to that. He is a Jinchuriki and needs to be trained. We cannot let these years went by as he just wastes the potential that he can achieve within these years. I have a plan for that then. And what would that be? The kid will grow up. At least at the age of five until then. None of this will be talked about. And after that, Naruto will be given an opportunity. He will be given a choice to learn. And if he still doesn't wish to, then we will wait patiently until... He has changed his mind. What? Are you insane? I just yelled at you because... And I said Hiruzen, cutting off Danzo again. Then said, as the Hokage have given you my final answer. I am not going to be putting an innocent kid who didn't have any say in this. Through hell. Because of your paranoia, Danzo. As Danzo gritted his teeth, as many people agreed to that. Even the civilian council members. As after that, Hiruzen also decreed the law that nobody was to spoke of about the child's origin. As the child will go under the name of Naruto Uzumaki, the name of his mother. And then, he will be placed into the orphanage. As now we see, time began to pass by as five years went by. And Naruto grew up to be a quite smart and intelligent child. He was more than Hiruzen could have ever imagined. Connected to the shinobi world than ever. He was always, always seen into the training ground, spying on the shinobis and the Ganon teams and learning how they were training and stuff about Chakra. As now we see, on Hiruzen's occasion visit that he usually did whenever he had the free time, he brought Naruto to an Ichiraku ramen stand, where both of the old man and the kid were enjoying their bowls of ramen as Hiruzen then started the conversation. Hey Naruto, I have a question. What is it, Gigi? 
Say, do you wish to become a shinobi? Y yes What is your purpose of being a shinobi, Naruto? Purpose? I mean, you and the Hokages are my idols. I want to be like you. So you want to be a Hokage? Yes. For what purpose, Naruto? As Naruto was taken aback by that. What? What do you mean by that? I had a purpose. I learned this lesson when I was young. Much more older than you, but still quite young. A friend of mine told me what was the reason why I fought. At first I was confused as you were, but then as the years progressed, I found the answer to myself, why I fought. You see all these people, their smiles, they mean something to me. And me being a leader, it means more than enough for me to know that everyone can sleep peacefully at night and all of them are living their lives happily. So, that is my reason to be the Hokage and the leader that I am, the strong shinobi that I am. What is yours? As Naruto was taken aback, the first thing you need is to find yourself and your reasoning. And only after that, you will become a great shinobi. Heck, who might even know, kid? You might even surpass me or the Hokages. Even the fourth? Of course, even the fourth himself. As Hiruzen was in thought, after Naruto began to look down in thoughts of his own. Your kid has a lot of potential, Minato. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but Danza was right. I can't wait the potential on this kid. If the kid can't find an answer to himself, then I guess I will have to allow him to train until he does so. But to his surprise, Naruto then said, Then I will also find a purpose. No, I already did. I will make this my own purpose. I will fight. Fight for the people that I call my friends and my family. As that is Ben, he was and smiled. I guess you already found your reasoning, huh, Naruto? You sure surprise me every time I visit, kid. Well, I guess you can start your training from tomorrow onwards. What? Seriously? Of course, Naruto. I'm not gonna hold you back. You have the potential and see it within you, kid. I know you will go far. As now we see, from that day onwards, Naruto was given to a few Jonins who were retired from, well, a team of Anbus because they had been working tirelessly after the thir second grade, third grade Shinobi War since, na since then to now. Even clearing up the mess of the QB and all that and making sure that new, no... Spies were able to get back with the news of their fourth Hokage being dead or the news about his child still alive raised the ears of the other villagers. As now we see, the team members were Kakashi Hatake, Mike Guy, and a few others such as Yugao and Anko Mitrashi and so on or whatnot. As Naruto was put under their wing to be trained, as they were made into an Anbu Jonin team, a rare and the only team of Jonins that were still working together as a form of Anbu, but in reality they were Jonins, because Naruto was with them, so they had to work in some safe environment. As Naruto began, the Jonins at first who were skeptic were baffled because the kid was actually absorbing everything like sponge. If more than anything, he was learning everything from Yigao, from katanas to Kunais to Sanbons, everything about the weapons that ever existed in the shinobi world were being taught to the boy and he was absorbing everything, becoming a weapon specialist in his own right. As even Asuma was impressed, as now we see in a Jonin arena, where Anbu's usually trained as well alongside the Jonins and the Kage, the elders as well as Hiruzen was watching this from the shadows, as Hiruzen had a powerful smile on his face as Naruto was currently facing Chunins with a weapon a huge chain attached to a ball at one end and the ball had metal ball had blades within it he was using this to fight against the enemies a new sort of weapon that he himself have, had made as now we see the elders were impressed i am amazed reason that you took my words to heart and acted upon it I mean, see for yourself, it only been a few years and the child has shown his true potential as a weapon specialist. But Hiruzen, 
is still far from his potential, his true potential. As he was in frown and said, I know what you're trying to say, Donzo. It is dangerous still. Naruto is still young to train into those arts. You know that, I know that. So it would be better if you just let that matter be. I can't let that matter rest. The kid has potential. We need to test out at least once. I mean, Danzo is right. Hiruzen said Koharu as well as Homura who nodded. What do you two mean? I mean, think about it. He was right about the kid having a lot of potential first and the kid really did have a lot of potential. He became a weapon specialist at the age of 8. How many can achieve that? He's even more genius than the prodigy of the Uchiha's. As Hiruzen rubbed his temple with a sigh, I know what you're trying to say, but still, we're talking about tapping into the Kyuubi's power. And last time something like that happened, you know how hard it was to contain Kushina, right? You're right. But this time around, Jiraiya will be here. And so will be Tsunade. And how will they be here? Simple. You will call them back, said Danzo. You talked about this, said Hiruzen, realizing that the elders were talking behind his back about this plan. Yes, we did. And we have come to a conclusion. It is high time that Tsunade comes back, and so does Jiraiya. But Jiraiya is out there, making sure the spy network is running smoothly. Then what is Tsunade doing? Self-exile. You're right. Both of need, them need to pay at least a visit back to me. And then, we will try this. If your hunch is correct, then the kid might be able to tap into the QB's power. Who knows? But if this gamble doesn't pay off, Danzo, you have to vow that you will let this matter rest. I promise. I swear on my word that I would let this matter rest if something goes south. But if something doesn't, you have to promise me one thing. Go all out on the training on the kid. He has a lot of potential. Potential so much that it might be terrifying to say that he might even surpass any of us. And even as well, the first Tokage. <laughs> that I can agree with. As now we see a week later, both of the Sanins, Tsunade as well as Jirai, were standing within the Hokage office. Tsunade didn't ha would have thought a week prior that she would be standing here. As for Jiraiya, well, he occasionally visited, at least before the death of his student. As Tsunade was angry, but not that much as... Jiraiya, he was because he was busy writing his book when the message arrived and now he was back here. And plus, it kind of reminded him of his failure. He couldn't protect his student. His student wanted him to be there the night his child was going to be born. But he made a bluff and he paid for it. He lied to him saying that he was busy while he was peeping on the women and in the end his own desire to write and peep costed him a lot of things. That is why he began to hate his hobby, but to make sure that he was financially stable, he had to do it as a form of job now. So, peeping Jira was long since gone. I don't understand, Sensei. Why have to call me back? I told you I was busy with the spy network. And I told you I won't set a foot back inside this damn village, old man. Listen to me, both of you. We're going to be trying something. And that is the reason I called you two back. And Tsunade? I know this might make you mad, but you need to come back to the village. As after hearing that, Tsunade slammed both of her fists on the table, turning it into a splinter as he was inside. As she ran back the way, as Tsunade, with a dangerously low voice, then said, And what makes you think, after everything that has happened, every one who I ever loved and known was taken from me by this place why would i in the living hell would return here because this place is your home tsunade bullshit this place has been nothing more than a prison for me I, it only took me a lot longer to realize that it wasn't home but a prison <sighs> there's someone i want you to meet who is an uzumaki kushina's child i asked tsunade's eyes widened because she was aware that Kushina had perished. But I heard that the child is... It was a fake news spread by me and Danza to make sure that the other nations were not able to get the gist that not Minato 
and Krishna's son Nardo was alive. So his name is Nardo, huh? <laughs> they really did name him after the boy in the book that I wrote. Yes, Jiraiya, he did. So why call me back then, if that is the reason for Sonari? The elders want him to tap into the power of the Kyubi. As both of the signings frowned, that is dangerous, Sensei. How old is he even? Eight. That is out of the question. I'm not gonna be a part of this, Sensei. I'm not gonna allow you or any of those bastards to lay a hand on the child. I'll be damned if I did. Minato lost his life because of that. I won't allow the same to happen to his legacy, his child, and my godchild, said Jiraiya with a parental rage that was rising within him, and that is why I want you to be there, to make sure nothing happens. Naruto has agreed to this. I have been transparent with him since the beginning. He is already aware of you coming here and about his parents since the beginning of his training a few years back. Damn it. <sighs> Fine. But if this doesn't work, you better stay quiet, old man, because I'm not gonna allow this to happen again. Not until I de deem it necessary. Fine, you have my word, Jiraiya. As after that, we see a few days passed as in a secluded location, the process took place as the elders and the Hokage was at one position while the Anbus were ready. As Naruto said, I'm ready. As Jiraiya knelt down and unlocked the seal only for a bit as Naruto began to shake violently as orange chakra surrounded him. As Naruto's eyes opened to see that they were flashing between red whistles and his blue irises. Come on, kid, you can do it. As Naruto fell down to his knees, as he grunted, as Sonata then said, Jiraiya, shut the seal down. Come on, kid, you can do it. I believe in you. As for a moment, there was a golden hue, as Naruto had slits, but they were golden. And so was everything, the orange chakra that was surrounding his body as well. But soon after that, Naruto was close to fainting out. As the sea was immediately closed by Jiraiya, Naruto slumped on Jiraiya's shoulder. As Sonata sighed, and so did Jiraiya, and everyone also relaxed because of the tension that left their room. As Shirizan said, unfortunately it wasn't a success. It was, said Danzo. What? What do you mean? The kid was able to tap into the Kyubi's power. The Dorian Chakra. It went from malicious to a calm chakra. That golden youth that we saw, it was the kid manipulating the chakra of the Biju at will. Only for a second though, but he was able to tap into it. That's progress right there. No, that isn't progress, that's suicide. If we continue on, the kid might... Sensei, said Jiraiya as he stood up. He looked towards Tsunade who nodded, and then looked towards Naruto who was asleep. I think Danzo is right. Naruto was able to tap into it. Let us talk to the kid and see if he wants to continue with it or not. Let Naruto decide this. Yes, let Naruto decide this, said Donzo, because he was sure the kid will agree to this. Even if Donzo didn't have any say how the kid was being trained or raised, he was sure as hell happy that Hiruzen at least was listening into his words and training Naruto, their Jinchuriki rightfully, to protect their village if need ever arises. As now we see, Naruto inside the mindscape was still present in front of the huge barred gate and the biju that was present behind, now watching him with two red eyes that were glaring daggers at him. Let me out, brat, before I turn into you splinters. Please, I know you can't because of the seal, said Naruto. But then he calmed down and sat down in front of the barred gate, as Kyubi was also silent, because it was quite confused as for the what kid was doing. What are you doing, brat? Have you calmed down yet? Huh. Saying I have been calm for the past more hundred years or so, I have been trapped within Jinchuriki after Jinchuriki against my will. What do you expect me to do, huh? So you're not a monster. As Kiwi was even more confused and enraged, what do you mean, a monster? I am the Kyubi no Yoko, the demon as you claim me to be. No. If you were a monster that didn't have any brain, you wouldn't have been able to hold this conversation with me. Which means you are able to talk and sense and feel emotions. <laughs> of course I can, said QB calming down for a bit because, to his surprise, this 
Jinchuriki of his made a lot of sense, even more so than his previous one or the previous one at that. Heck, he might be even the first flashback to even consider that he was more than a monster or a demon. What are you getting at, brat? QB said, just to confirm. I think that even if you are a demon, you have conscious, which means you had been aware of everything you have done. I want you to know that I don't trust you, but I still would like to listen to your side. If you don't trust me, then what's the point? Because if you share, I might be able to come to a conclusion if I should do this or not. Stop wasting my time, brat, and leave. The others are getting worried for you. Listen, I know as much as you do that you're not what you are showing me to be. And I can understand you. Even if I am the first hack, I don't care. I want to understand why. What was the reasoning behind you attacking the village? Because it is quite obnoxious that someone of your stature, a being able to think and comprehend, would be able to attack a village without any reason. I was manipulated, said the QB, because the kid was pressuring him, and the QB had to give QB had to give it to the kid because the kid was able to crack through his cold facade that he was able to keep up. I was manipulated by Madara Uchiha. He used his sharing gun to trap me in a genjutsu. The next thing I knew, I was sealed within the first Jinchuriki, Mito Uzumaki. She never listened to me or bothered to. Never tried to understand me. Only used and abused me for her power as a chakra power source. The cubic gritted his teeth as he looked towards Naruto as he listened intentively. And then came your mother. The mother followed in the footsteps of the previous woman and did the same thing. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're my third in Turkey and only you have been able to hold a decent conversation up until now with me. The longest conversation I had with any of my Jinchurikis. I see. And I'm not like them. I'd like to learn about the others before I come to a conclusion of them. I have learned this the hard way. Since I began my training, and since I have begun to wander around in the streets of the elemental nation, I have seen things horrifying and quite the good ones, and some things that I would rather not discuss. And all of them have given me experience. And this little chat we're having is also giving me some experience as to what you truly are. You are. I have deduced what you are said Naruto with a smile, and what would that be? A sentient being, who is trapped here without, without his wishes, against his will. Hmm, said Kurama with a smirk, at least you are able to deduce that much. I'm honestly shocked that it only took hundreds of years for a child to deduce this. Honestly, I'm surprised as well. So what now, kid? If you're going to ask me to lend you the strength, forget about it. No. I want to know about this masked person that I'm hearing about, that my father warned the Hokage about. The night he died. As the QB gritted his teeth, that man was able to put me into a genjutsu. But I thought you only told that Madara, as not as I thought, are you implying that Madara Uchiha is alive? I do not know, kid. But I can tell you one thing. The chakra and the jutsu and the jutsu that was used was the same one that I felt before. Hmm, this is, this is not good. If he is alive, then that means that he can come back any time. I'm not well trained enough. Listen, what do you think he intends to do with you? I don't know, honestly. But... I can tell you this much, it's not going to be good, not for you, for Konoha, and for the rest of the elemental nation. This is bad then. Listen, I know I, wouldn't, I said I wouldn't ask for your help, but I really need to. And why do you think I would help you or any of these people who think I am a demon and have trapped me within you? Listen, I apologize that this has happened to you. Do you think your apology means something to me, kid? 
I know it won't mean much to you, but I really need your help. I need you to train me. Train you? Said Kiwi with a shock. Since you're not going to lend me your strength, at least lend me your knowledge. You are a being that is sentient and have knowledge of not only my mother's skill, but of the Mito Uzumaki's as well. Teach me. Teach me their arts. And I will be able to become strong enough to not rely on you. And we'll be able to protect both of us. As Kiwi was taken aback by that. As he was in thoughts, was this the child that father talked about? A child that will be able to become a bridge between us and the humans. Who will be able to understand us, show us compassion. Maybe, just maybe, thought the Biju. As now we see, on the other end, Naruto was waiting for a reply while looking directly at the eyes of the Biju. Fine, kid. I will. As after that, Naruto woke up. And so, once he did, the training with the Biju in privacy began. As now we have a time skip of a few more years as Naruto reached at the age of 13. By the age of 13, Naruto was sent alone on missions by both Hiruzen and Danzo. Naruto was also being sent on assassination missions by Danzo mainly because he wanted to make sure that the Jinchuriki was ready to kill anyone at order. And not only that, anyone who stood against Konoha. And Naruto has been splendid in doing the work. He has become so efficient in using weapons of all sorts and every sort that he was able to use a Senbon needle from a mile away and be precise with the attack. Heck, he could even use a small needle and turn it into a deadly weapon. That much skills of his have been improved over the course of years. He now was hunched over over a tree near a house. As we see, this was the close man of Daimyo of the Land of Fire. As Danzo has gotten news that this man was betraying the Daimyo and the Land of Fire itself, selling out the secrets to the Land of Wind, where Kumo resided. As now we see Naruto's eyes narrowed. As soon as the man left downstairs, leaving his home office, Naruto jumped inside and began to search his office. And after finding a key, he needed to find a hidden drawer. And after locating it down under the desk, he found a secret cabinet. And after opening it, there it was. The diary, the logs, and the letters sent from the other side. And he, being lucky enough, was able to find a letter that was yet to be sent. And after taking everything and leaving the copies there, Naruto left the office. As now we see, Naruto was dashing back towards the daimyo, but not before the man returned. As soon as he did, he noticed that something was odd with his office. As he looked towards the window that was opened. Oh no, I have been discovered. As soon as he said these words, a man stepped out from the shadows from behind. As the man turned, he found that it was an Anbu standing there with a blank mask. But surprisingly enough, the Anbu was quite short. Short enough to be a kid. What are you doing here, kid, playing Anbu? Why did you break into my home? The Anbu with the blonde hair didn't see anything, but shot a Senbon that he brought out from his holster at a blinding speed. The Senbon, being thin enough that it couldn't be seen, pierced through the skull from the front and exited from the behind. As a single needle-like droplet began to come out from a small hole that was not visible to the eyes as the man fell down to the ground, killed instantly because of the nerves that were attacked by Naruto. As after that Naruto left after killing his target and gathering all the info. As back at the Hokage office we see that the daimyo was pacing back and forth. Are you sure that the child will be able to do this? The child is professional. Naruto is one of our best marksmen and assassins. He will be able to take care of anything and everything that is thrown at his way. You don't need to worry about anything. It's not his first rodeo, Daimyo-sama. He has done a lot of missions for you. And that is why I'm worried about. He he knows about him. And I, I, I fear that he might be able to detect him. As that is when Naruto appeared behind me. He didn't. As the Daimyo jumped a little bit. Why you little... Why did you scare me like that? I'm sorry to do that, Daimyo-sama, but I have news. I found these letters and these information scrolls within the hidden compartment and the target has been eradicated. Good. 
That is good. I burned his home. Made it look like an accident. A gas leak. The whole place burned down because of that. As a, the daimyo shivered down because of, of what Naruto said. Making a death look like an accident. Well, at much as it was quite praiseful, it was quite, well, fearsome as well. And the daimyo was fearful of Naruto as well. At such a young age, the boy was quite talented in the arts of assassinary and being a weapon specialist, as he was told. As after that we see, Naruto then said, If that is all, I would like to take my leave. As the Hokage bid him farewell and allowed him to leave, see, said Danzo, everything is well. I can't believe this. What is it? Amegakure is involved in this as well, alongside the land of wind and the other daimyos. But I still don't understand what Amegakure would gain from this. Unfortunately for the three, Naruto has been doing a secret scouting mission of his own. As now we see him standing in front of his table. So what do you think, Q? Amegakure? That's the only place we haven't been to. And the letters have been sent directly from here, there to here, and here to there. It doesn't make any sense. And plus this ring we found. Hmm. Something is odd about this ring. It has a seal matrix you need to decode. I am already working on it. As Naruto sat down, and by the next sunrise, he was all able to decode it. Why does this little ring has a seal matrix so complex that it could even store a chakra worth of a whole will goddamn village? As that is when Naruto's eyes widened. Q, you think what I'm thinking? I think so too, kid. It's to store a bead you. But for what? Why was this ring with the Daimyo's right-hand man? We need to find his home. But you burned it down, remember? Damn it. We need to go get to Omegakure then. As that is when the door opened and in came Jiraiya. I know what you're planning, kid. How How did you... As Tsunade was also there with him. We wanted to surprise you a few days ago, so we visited. And we found out about this. What the hell is going on here, Naruto? Listen, I... I can explain. And who is this Q you're talking to? <sighs> God damn it. What should I do? Come clean, kid. That's the only thing you can do at the point. As after that, Naruto had to come clean. And so he did. As after explaining everything and what he has been doing, Jiraiya and Tsunade were impressed. Honestly, Naruto, we are impressed more than anything. But still, this is dangerous. If anything, I should go and check for myself. No, it could be dangerous. I can't allow you to leave alone by yourself. No, kid. As your godfather, this is my order. And as your clan head, I cannot allow you to leave, said Tsunade. Since Tsunade was half Uzumaki, as was Naruto, she being the older person here, was the head of both the Uzumaki and the Senjus, and that is why Naruto being the clansman of the Uzumaki side had to listen to her. <sighs> Fine, I guess I won't. As Naruto hugged Jiraiya, make sure nothing happens to you and get back safe, old man. Otherwise, I'm gonna revive you and kill you myself. Huh. You have so little faith in me, Naruto. I promise everything will be fine. But you gotta promise me something. By the time I'm done with this investigation, you will be done learning the sage arts. Pine Ma have been on my ass because you don't have enough time. You know that? You know, for once I agree with them. Maybe you should finish your studies of the sage arts. You're still using the incomplete sage mode of the toads. It could be dangerous for you, Sensei. I agree with the boy, says Tsunade. You sh should completely finish that thing by now, Jiraiya. How many years has it been again? Ugh, again with this. I will when I have enough time, okay? For the time being, let me go. And see what I can do. Fine. Just be careful. Says Tsunade. And so, after getting his sensei degree, Jiraiya left. And soon as he did, Naruto was now being busy with the Chunin exams. Since he was an Anbu, he was ordered to stand by and monitor. As Naruto caught the scent of someone. Someone disguised who smelled like snakes. Sanade-sama. What is it, Naruto? That Kenny smells like snakes. As Sanade's eyes narrowed, keep an eye on him, Naruto. And that Naruto did 
as the first part of the tuning exam ended, the kid gave off odd vibes. In the second part, the forest of death, it became obvious. And it even became more obvious when it attacked Sasuke Uchiha. From the Uchiha clan that was yet alive still. Thanks to, well, let's just say, things being a little bit different in this reality. As now we see, Naruto intervened at the right moment, throwing symbols at the knee, at the elongated neck of the snake person that erupted, turned out to be Orochimaru from the Ganon, as the person became paralyzed from neck down and fell face first to the ground. As Orochimaru shed its skin immediately and was now standing on the other side. My oh my, who would have thought that I would meet the headhunter of Konoha in the flesh? Headhunter? Thought Naruto. <laughs> Surprised? That is the name that the whole Konoha has given you. And the whole elemental nation has, young Naruto. As Naruto flinched, what? He thought I was not aware of you, or your existence. Boy, there are a lot of things in this world that are not hidden from me. As now we see, Rochimar licked his lips. Maybe I should make you my next pet project. As he attacked Naruto, but Naruto using the Senbons and Kunais and Shuriken Stars were able to avoid and deflect each and every attack. As Naruto then unsheathed his katanas and began to deflect each and every attack from the Kusanagi sword that he elongated from his neck that almost pierced him. As now we see, Orochimaru was fighting the weapon specialist prodigy of Konoha as well. As Naruto looked towards Sasuke and the others, run! Get to the safety! Now! As Naruto was holding back Rochimaru, we see that Naruto was beginning to pant heavily. <sighs> I gotta say, you are really strong as the legends suggest. Hm. And I shall say this as well, my boy. You certainly have what it takes to be my next pet project. My next body, even. Hmm. Pity you are a Jinshuriki. Otherwise, I would have done a lot with you. Q, I really need your help. On it, kid. As Naruto then unsealed the seal that was stopping the QB, as trusting his instinct, the QB then tapped into Naruto's chakra pool and increased it thousandfold as Naruto burst into golden chakra. As QB then said, you can only use it for a minute or so, since your body might start to take a toll on it. So make it count. As soon as Naruto entered that state, Orochimaru bailed because he knew now that the QB was in play, he couldn't. But he was fascinated. The boy is able to tame the QB. Hmm, fascinating. I must say, Jiraiya, you got one hell of a student and one hell of a luck. How oh, I wonder how your own luck will save you from your demise tonight. As now we see, Naruto sensed that his seal was glowing. As back in Amegakure, Jiraiya was seen trapped as he was bleeding out and injured, laying on the ground surrounded by the Akatsuki. As the seal that Naruto placed while he was giving him a hug then began to glow. As Jiraiya smart, <laughs> cheeky brat. As in an instant, in a yellow flash, Naruto appeared there and threw kunais and smog bombs. In an instant, Naruto disappeared with him. As Pain was standing there, as Konan said, Pain, he... Enough. He might have gotten away and know about us. And there's nothing he can do about it. But the others, they... <laughs> do you think we care? We are the Akatsuki. We possess the power of the Rinnegan and the Three Tails. We can do whatever we wish. If the elemental nation wishes for a war, the wars then she, they shall have. As this was going on, we see that. So not after finding out the critical condition of Jiraiya, pulled him into the medical room, and as soon as he arrived, the operation began as Naruto was literally panting heavily. First of all, he fought off the rogue son in Orochimaru, and it was a close call, and then his sensei almost died. God damn it. Kid, calm down. Their dr drilling is too much for you. You need to calm your nerves down, kid. Said the QB, as Naruto then said, it's easier said than done. As Naruto's body began to hyperventilate, as Shizune calmed him down after arriving there. As after that we see, Naruto was seated there and it was evening as Jiraiya rushed to the hospital. As, I mean, 
He was in rush to the hospital as well. Sunari, how is he? He's alright. Out of the woods, but he's recovering. What about Naruto, though? As both of the older people's eyes fell on the kid who was sitting there. It's alright, Naruto. Chara's going to be fine. I... But if I was... I was a little bit late, he would have been... He would have been killed. It's alright. Everything is fine. Although I did learn that Ch Orochimaru was seen in the first of that. Yeah. He was aiming for Sasuke Uchiha. For some reason. Wanting to make him his pet project or body or whatever. Tch, the curse marks you. Sasunari. As Hiruzen grew more and more cold and stony faced with the words that were said by them. And what did you do? I tapped into the QB's power. And only for a moment though. And at that moment he bailed. That's a good thing he did. Otherwise God knows what would have happened. Are you okay kid? Of course I'm fine. Well, only one thing is for certain now. Whatever happened or whoever did this to Jiraiya is responsible for a lot of things. Said Naruto. How are you so sure certain? Said Hiruzen. <sighs> when, when I was going out on missions, I was doing an investigation of my own. I and QB have found common grounds. And we are searching for an enemy. Enemy who, who put him under Genjutsu and killed my parents. Naruto, are you looking for a revenge? Sort of, yes. I, I need that man to be put down for what he has done and taken from me. And from QB. Twice. Twice he has used him. And QB cannot allow that to happen anymore. And I need to get revenge for my parents. I will go to lengths of shaking the hand with the devil itself if I have to do that to get my revenge. Naruto, you don't need to do that. We are here for you. And that is why I'm worried. If something like that happens to you, I won't be able to forgive myself. Erosanin was close. He could have died if it wasn't for me taking precautionary measures to make sure that he's safe. Smart move tagging him though, Naruto. Yeah. Just in the nick of time I was there. Able to save him, risk him away from death. Otherwise, he would have been killed. Damn it. I'm not strong enough yet, said Naruto, slamming his face to the next window and then clutching his head in both of his hands. It's alright, Naruto. You did more than enough. You're strong, and you're still a kid. You're growing. You will eventually grow much more stronger as you grow. That's not the point, Gigi. I've been training since I was freaking five years old. I'm 13. I should be at least a Jonin level or Kage level at least. Not everyone is able to achieve their true potential at a young age. Even it took us years. Even now, we're still increasing our potential day by day. If we train hard enough. At our age. Naruto. At this point, I will not be able to reach my goal that I promised you. That I will one day become. <laughs> is this what this is about? You have surpassed my expectations, Naruto. You know that I know that you're not have reached your goal, but I know one thing, Naruto, and I know you're aware of that, and that is that you have the heart to do it. You will be able to achieve your goals, but everything will be achieved at a given time in life, not one second after, not second one before that. You just have to work hard for it. Thanks, Gigi. I guess you're you're right. Of course I am. As soon as that was said, Shizune arrived. Jiraiya-sama has woken up. As the three of them rushed inside, as Jiraiya explained everything, after a little bit of bickering and going back and forth about his condition and health. So the Kotsuki, they're planning something big, huh? Yes. We need to be acting quickly. As this was being said, the Kage summit was immediately called because a war by the Kotsuki organization has been declared on the whole elemental nation. As... All the four of them frowned. And a few days later, they were in the Iron Country. As they were all bickering with one another. As that is when Toby himself appeared and declared once more the elemental fourth great shinobi war. And once it began, everything was in shambles since the nations hadn't formed the alliance this time around. 
because everything was moving way too much faster than the cannon had. As now we see, Naruto and the remaining forces were only losing end, and one by one, the Jinchurikis were being fallen into the clutches of the Katsuki, and the Bijus were being ripped out, and so far only two Bijus and Jinchurikis were left. Yuki, the Octo Bull from Kumo, and its Jinchuriki Killer B, and Naruto Zumaki, and QB, the Nine Tail Fox. As this time around, Kumo, Konoha, as well as the remaining forces of the other elemental nation, who were already at the verge of extinction because of their losses at their own egos, joined forces together. As Hiruzen then said, we need to come up with a better strategy. How will we do that? said Kurtisuchi, the new Suchikage, since Oniki had fell into the battle, as Mei Trumi was also there, but she had lost one of her arms, and on one of the side was nothing more than a stump now. As for the others, they were also there, such as Tamari no Sabuko, the new Kazekage, after the death of the father, as well as A, the Raikage, and Hiruzen Sarutobi. We need to act fast. Only B and Naruto are left as the Jinchurikis. They need to tap into the Biju's powers. The Biju's have agreed to help us. If we don't, then the Kartsuki might succeed in gathering all the nine Biju's and driving the Ten Tails. Kartsuki plans over the course of the war, which has spread out almost for a year now, has been revealed, and they were aware of their plans. Because the Kartsuki, they were winning with ease. Because of the separation and the wars, as well as the distrust between the elemental nation themselves and being them being not able to unite this time around. As Naruto then said, damn it, we lost so many. What are we gonna do? Calm down, fool. Everything will be fine. All we have to do is tap into the abilities of number eight and number nine. Work together with them and boom, we'll be able to save everyone. It's not so simple. We have to be synced completely at all times. That is the only solution here. Kid, I know that you and I are having a lot of troubles to achieve the perfect sync state. How about this? How about I convert my form into a weapon? Weapon that you can wield. That might work. As now we see a new form of KCM activated as Naruto body glowed as a golden lining black armor sort of made out of chakra appeared on him that was transparent almost like a susano but it was in his humanoid form a miniature version of it that was fitting naruto's body like an armor would and instead of well the huge fox the fox handle appeared from which a katana appeared like which handle was made out of fox like ears as well as eyes and a huge blade was emitting from the back as now we see Naruto was holding on to that katana. This is awesome. Maybe with this we might be able to deal with them. Before anything could happen, a not completed form, a hybrid form of the ten tails erupted, and uncontrollable, but yet, yet still, somehow, by a mere miracle, under control of Obito Uchiha, who was revealed to be the grandson and the mastermind behind this plan standing atop of it and controlling it, appeared. As now we see, Naruto, as well as B, rushed towards the campsite where the refugees were, well, trying their best to get away from the onslaught that was coming towards them. As Naruto then said, Octopops, what do you say? Let's get into this, Naruto. Yeah, we should as well, kid. As Naruto blitz passed by them, Blitzing so fast that he was nothing more than a yellow blur. Next thing he did, using the katana, he slashed at the feet of the biju. The slash was so huge that the mountains nearby was split in halves. As the biju fell face first to the ground after his limbs were served. As now we see, Naruto didn't stop there. After that, attack after attack was followed suit. But then something happened. There was a puff of smoke and the both things disappeared. As Apollo, as now we see, Obito hovered down from the sky as he was completely different, holding a staff that was black in one hand as black orbs were floating behind him. His whole visage was completely white. As now we see, everyone was baffled in shock. 
As more than ever were the beaches, how did he able, was able to achieve that form? What is it, Kyukurama? It's, it's the form of the Sage of the Six Path, Naruto. How does that... How does that even work? How does that he possess it? I don't know. No, but now that he does, we need to take care of it fast. You bet your ass we do. As now we see, Yuki and Naruto tried their best, but in the end, they failed as they were flung and thrown back faster than ever. As everything seemed like it was over, as Obito was laughing, seeing that he was finally able to achieve his true dreams, we see that. Orochimaru appeared. The smirk of his own. How are you still alive after I put you down, Orochimaru? Huh. <laughs> like you did the rest of the Akatsuki? Oh, please. I had backups ready. And this time I'm not alone. As behind him, a lot of coffins rose, and from within them, all the previous Kages from different villages emerged. As Naruto was shocked to see, the Hokages there as well. From the first all the way to the fourth being there. As was Hiruzen. And Jiraiya, as well as Tsunade. I can't believe this. As now we see, what followed suit was... Obito, nothing more than just laughing. <laughs> you think I came here alone? As an army of Zetsus was being seen, following him behind. As Naruto then said, getting up. And you think that bothers us? As Naruto and Kurama, now completely sing, bursted into KCM2 state. As a huge fox emerged, holding onto a katana on his back. As it began to dash towards the army of Zetsu, causing it to be destroyed immediately. And so it could be said for the Gyuki, while the undead Hokages, as well as the other Kages, tried their best to beat the shit out of Obito, who was the new Sage of the Sixth Path. But before any of this could continue on, as the tides of the battle were changing and Obito was losing because of his own arrogance, Zetsu did something. He betrayed Obito. And the true master was then revealed. It was Obito... Because Obito was nothing more than a pawn. As Obito himself was shocked to find out about this. The mastermind behind this was Zetsu. No. Zetsu's mother. He was... He was just her will. As Kagi or Suzuki was revealed. And just after arriving with a flick of her hand. In an instant, the whole Shinobi alliance was defeated. As Naruto and Kyuki were still holding on. But because of the mere pressure that she was executing... Both couldn't even hold the ground that they were standing on. They were forced to bow down. D damn it. Kid, it's not looking good. That thing is the mother of the sage. The mother of Chakra and all of us. Sh she's the originator of the Chakra. How are we gonna deal with that? As that is when Naruto and Kurama felt, sensed something. A man emerged. Besides them, within the mindscape. With this... As suddenly Naruto's palms began to hiss, as a burning sensation was felt, as each there in the palms of his hands were the sun and the moon seal, as the sage passed on all of his knowledge and abilities to Naruto, as Naruto's eyes closed shut and then opened, as there was the Rinne Sharingan there, as Naruto disappeared, appearing behind Kaguya, as his katana was made out of the black Magatama orbs, in one hand, and on the other side was the KCM-2 katana, made out of Kurama, originating himself into the form of solid weapon. As using the twin katana style, he wielded as the next set of six spot, he attacked Kaguya. As Kaguya and his battle was shaking the earth, the minor people that were left alive were watching in awe the battle of the gods. And after it was settled, Naruto was on the ground again, as he was panting heavily, his weapons thrown far away from his hands. As Kaguya was stomping on his chest proudly, showing that she was the one who defeated him. And all who, who felt lost, Naruto then said, Just where I wanted you. As he slammed both of his hands on her feet, causing the seals to become contact in contact with her. As she began to hover into the ground again. As the Chibaku Tensei technique and the sealing process was taking place, the same cursed seal that her son used in the past. As Asu tried to escape once more so that he could free his mother later on, Naruto kicked him into the seal as well. As the mother child, both of them were sealed once more. As once the threat left, Naruto face fell to the ground, panting heavily. His body was aching because of the fight that he had that shook the earth with the goddess. But one thing was for sure. After this battle was over, he's gonna need a lot of ramen.
and a lot of rest. And once his eyes opened, as they closed shut at that moment, he was back at home. And soon as he opened his eyes, he was met with familiar faces. You did it, kid, said Jiraiya, who was sitting there. Alongside him was Tsunade and Hiruzen, who were all bandaged up and looking a little bit rugged. What the? When did we get back home? A few days ago. Thanks to you, the whole elemental nation, or what's left of it, was able to survive. The people, they're grateful to you, Naruto. You not only saved them, gave them a second chance. You defeated a literal goddess kid. You know that? You saved us. You saved us all, Naruto. As after that, Naruto was shocked to see the gratitude of the people as they were all cheering for him outside. Not only co people of Konoha or Land of Fire, but the rest of the elemental nations as well. As the Kages were also smiling up at him, as that is when Naruto met with his father. And after having a heartful moment, it was time for the Edo Tensei to disp dispel. As after the Edo Tensei dispel, the only words Naruto got to hear from his father were that he loved him and he was proud of him. As that is how Naruto, at the age of 14, was able to not only save the elemental nation from a great catastrophe, but also was able to be recognized as the strongest shinobi and a great weapon master as well. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this short movie of guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like the content of this channel, I know, I know, in between I was kind of off. But yeah, let me get back on track after a long time since I haven't been making videos for quite a while now. So it might need me, take me a, some time to, you know, get used to it again. Anyways, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to both of my channels. And do let me know what you think of the suggestion that I said in the beginning of this video. As this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing off for the day. Peace.